Hi everyone. Today I am going to share with you another journal, flip through through it with you, and one that I have made over the winter. So it does have a slight winter theme, although kind of goes all over the place in this journal. <laughs> But because I want to give it a name, um, I'm calling it Feed the Birds. So, uh, obviously on the cover, she's feeding the birds in the winter. And I do like to feed the birds. <laughs> so it's a fun journal and there are some bird themes as well as other kind of all over, the, like I said, various types of things in this journal. Uh, okay, so I will tell you the measurements before we get going on the showing you the inside. Five and a half by eight. Uh, in my Etsy shop, this will be listed in my Etsy shop. So if you want to know in like more uh, details about specific how many pages and all that. That will be in my description in in the uh, the listing for this. I collaged here, sewed by hand around. There's old lace and, and doilies, antique doilies. Covered it twice. This is a complete doily. This tie is from um, a fabric that I have had for a long time. It's probably 40 years old at least. And I will point out when I was uh, making this cover, I like the words the starting point, which is a part of the um, one of the pages in or some of the pages a chapter um, called The Starting Point. So I just put that there. And after I looked at, when I was doing more things, I, I looked at the uh, top here and saw, oh, look at the little birds. I mean, I guess I knew they were there before, but I didn't think put it together until I did this, <laughs> the starting point of the birds. So, and then this, I, I found this to go, that I did do on purpose. I found it in my stash. Actually, it was right, you know, right there, so I could see it. I can't always see my stash, right? <laughs> I mean, if you make things, you know, <laughs> you have to dig a lot. And I put a few buttons here. These are all a antique type buttons. Um, okay, so it was made from an actual book. I altered the book, so I didn't take out all the pages, just some of them, and then altered. Of course, it doesn't want to open. It's like stuck. Oh, the little, there we go. <laughs> All right. Behave. Um, anyway, so here's the, the actual, it's a Reader's Digest book from, I think, 1990s, early 1990s. I don't think I left, no, I didn't leave the first page in, but I you know, left this like, like it was. This is how it looked. You can write your name in there. This right here is a, uh, I cut this out. This is one page and then this is the, the another page that I had left and then I just glued that on. Cut this first and then glued it, glued it here. Just, just because I could have I think there was other things right here I didn't really want to showcase. That's what it, why I did it that way. And okay, so I made some tags. And this is an old envelope I had from my, from my dad writing to his mom. And the other part of it is in another part of the book, or <laughs> the journal, I mean. Here's a bunch of different things. So there's two, two um, pockets on this page, or three actually with this one. I'll have to put in the description where I got these. 
cannot remember an old photo of my dad. It took My dad took that. A copy of a photo. And there's another little pocket or tuck space. This is my um, my dad's mom, my paternal grandmother, when she was pretty young. I think she was 19, and that's her sister that had passed away before I was born. And tuck spot there with the lace. I think I got this from Graphics Fairy. Little flower charm. This is uh, something I dried from my garden. A weathered um, bloom. <laughs> Here's some more birdies. And some more here. This was actually kind of a Christmassy thing, but I thought it could go anytime. <laughs> and some writing space right there. This is a very distressed photo of my aunt, my aunt Gail, when she was a little girl. On my dad's, so my dad's sister. I collaged it and then made writing space right there. Made some cabinet cards. It's, kind of, it's pretty thick. Another card there. Fall 1915. I blacked this uh, page, painted it black, and cut a flower out of a book, and this flower here, and pasted it on there. This, this doesn't have a pocket, I just put it there, stuck it there. Here's a kind of a collage that I made into a note, kind of a notepad right there. And this comes kind of a, I don't know what you call that, pocket, not a pocket. <laughs> I made it all the way, to go all the way through it because it has this. Straighten this out. Hopefully, I'm gonna check and see if it's there in the proper place. There we go. Oh, so does anybody else like to feed birds? I do. I don't feed them in the winter very well. Like I said, I think I said that. I think I'm just. I don't know why. It's harder to go outside in the winter, right? <laughs> Uh, so, spring and summer we do feed them. I like the sound of the birds singing and just like to see them. Collage this and an old photo of people out in the snow. Winter 1915. Not sure what book this is. What book we're in? There's a little tag. Collaging. Oh, and I put this, of course. You can see the ruffle there. Wallpaper. An old invoice. That's a copy from Graphics Fairy. This is uh, opens up here. You can put something in there. Another ledger paper copy. This is a envelope that has some stationery. Little bird there. Does anybody use stationery anymore? But I bet there's not a lot of people that do. But I know some of you do. 
or these cards. <laughs> I added a little, I guess they're daisies, some kind of flower there. An old, from an old piano book or yeah, piano music book. More writing. This is from My Porch Prince. Copy of an old postcard. Again, graphics fairy. More cabinet. <coughs> I mean, another cabinet card there. This is a the postcard there, or copy, and then a photo, an actual photo that is more recent. I think I'm not sure when, maybe 70s or 80s. Some more writing paper I put in. This little uh, that has a little note note thing in there. You could write on wallpaper here. And I distressed this with coffee. Another cabinet card that says heart stamped on there. More of that doily digital. I call this Edwardian. I know there's another name for it. Maybe tape, tape, no, something else. I don't know what it is cut out. It's old. <laughs> so another um, photo that I left in here and it says the family. I didn't put anything in here. I might add some more. Uh, this is a photo I had of my mom's, my mom is right here, that's, those are her friends, and she's a little girl, of course. <laughs> this is from wallpaper that I had, vintage wallpaper. Here's the other part of that envelope from my dad, or at least similar, I don't know if, these, if it's the exact half, I think it is. <laughs> Uh, another photo that I left in there, and here's a page from a book. I thought it went well. It's very pretty. And it has a bird there. More of the doily. These are pockets I made using the original photos in the book. Here's an original birthday card from 1965. The colors went well with this. My grandmother, she, that was about 1915, so it goes well with the book. Little cards here, or postcards. More of the pockets uh, from the original photos in the book. This was a an invoice that I had already. Copied it and distressed it. I made this, copied a little baby stress and um, copy dyed here. Same with this, this is the other side of the dress. This is a piece of an old postcard. And of course, I think I may have said, but throughout throughout this journal, you'll find lots of, if you say old, <laughs> old things like the doilies and the lace. Anyway, I'll do that later. Here's a an envelope with something in it. I'm not sure what, maybe paper. And there's two, two pockets there. Oop, yeah. Two pockets here with bird theme, the nest there. And then there's 
Another one of my photos of my relatives. Oops, these are the little digitals of doilies. They're kind of not really doilies. I guess they, you call them embroider, embroidery. There's another word, <laughs> but they're embroidered. <laughs> embroidered doilies. Okay, so more little things to go in here. This little girl I made. I made a little dress for her. Um, I didn't make her, but <laughs> put it together. Another bird theme tag, a card, and then distressed copy of a ledger. This is another graphics fairy. Made a journal card there. And same with these. Here's a belly band of sorts I made from coffee dyed and embroidered pillowcase. Distressed the paper here, or coffee dyed and distressed. This is a copy of a photo that I have from late 1800s. I just made it black and white. It was originally color. And the end of the book. The original pages in the front and the back, as I, I think I said that about this. Uh, and you can write your name in there. Maybe I said that already. It's the end of the day, so my energy level is <laughs> not very high right now. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Um, if I left anything out, maybe I'll put it in the description box, like I said. And... Have a great day. God bless.